They really believe in voting here. In the state of Minnesota in 2016, turnout was higher than anywhere else in America. It means this most liberal of cities is counting on the midterms to rein in a president they didn't vote for and put their country back on track. Visit the city's Carmel Mall at prayer time. And Trump's challenge is clear. There are more Somalians here than anywhere else outside of East Africa, but they're also American and angry with their president. He's, he's racist, he's very racist. That's like, I'm gonna say yes, he is. Adama came to the US illegally. Her daughter sitting beside her was born here, but under the president's plans to revoke birthright citizenship, wouldn't be an American now. You have to be like him. You know, he doesn't respect nobody. You have to be just like Donald Trump to, for him to, you know, to respect you. What they want in this henna shop is someone who understands the complexities of being an immigrant here, who can bring change however slowly. And that explains the rise of Ilhan Omar. I got hurt in one of those caucuses. A refugee herself, Omar is one of the first Muslim women expected to be elected to Congress. She tells me she's experienced some vicious personal attacks, but insists it is worthwhile. We wanted to make sure that people understood the challenges we were up against and how we were able to um, maneuver around them um, so that others who share an identity um, with me or, you know, might think the, the odds are up against them, they can look at me and say, like, if she could overcome all of these things, I certainly can do this and I'm going to do it. Early voting is already underway here, and at this city college, they're determined to get first-time voters on board. Turnout tends to be much lower for the midterms, but the result of the last election might just change that. It's been pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. This guy's trying to get rid of us. He's always attacking our people for some reason. I don't know why. So this is why we're all coming out. We're voting today to try to deter that from ever happening again. Some of them believe the president's words have driven others to treat them differently. It was like the next day when Trump got elected. This one white male came up to my friend, pulled her hijab off, and be like, hey, you should go back to Africa. You're not belong here. That victory of Trump's came down to the people he called his silent majority. This time, it's the minority vote which might hold sway. This is the one place where they can really change things. All the fear and all the anger that they feel translating into votes. But the state's Republican chairwoman believes they shouldn't blame the president. You don't think Donald Trump is in any way racist? I do not. You know, I grew up in the state. I faced a lot of racism when I was young. So it's always interesting to me to hear the narrative that Republicans are the racist party because I've gotten hate mail and death threats and it's all been from Democrats. The old divisions then are as clearly drawn as ever. But there is hope here that a new generation will see themselves in the people who represent them. Rachel Younger. ITV News, Minneapolis.